inshallah you are my name is Nili and my channel is all about Muslim parenting and lifestyle and if you're interested in that or want to know more stuff about it then please do hit the subscribe button so today's video is a haul you can see the stuff I've accumulated <laughs> over the week so you might hear the kids <coughs> because it's just us three and I've yeah I'm just gonna do it because I need to upload a video so yeah so most of the things are from TK Maxx I think there's H&M and pretty of things now. Well. It's gonna be a long one. So I'm gonna try and get into it as quickly as possible and just ignore the kid. Okay, so first TK Maxx. There's a lot of things from TK Maxx, um, but yeah. So this is the first thing I got from TK Maxx. It is cookie cutters. It's 101 and it was on sale <laughs> down to 5.99. And I just you can see everything. The, all, the, all the shapes. You want the box? Just a really fun way to get the kids involved in the kitchen. And um, they love cookies anyway and making it. But I just thought such a huge variety and with colours we're sorted. And for five ninety nine, I couldn't say no. And Ashley's gonna take it. Ugh. Okay, so I bought this. It's a massive rug. It's not massive actually. It's quite small. But I just bought this rug. I just thought I put it in the hallway. Um, it was £16. So I got that. Picked this up. It was on sale for like £5, I think, I want to say. And it's just white and pink peonies. I thought that was quite cute. I already showed these butterfly twists on my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, then please do. My name is Nelly Dahlia on Instagram. And these are just literally some pumps. So butterfly twists are those shoes that you can fold and put in your bag which is super handy for nights out and all that sort of stuff but um, the one I got isn't a foldy one but the box is so cool and my friend's husband actually designed this but yeah isn't that so cool the packaging it opens up anyway so I picked up these shoes for 9.99 which I thought was so nice and it's just great to go with all my outfits and it matches my scarf perfectly but yes yeah, so I got these um, size 5 and the very cute pointy loafers with faux snake screen with like even more faux like buckle kind of effect going on but they're very cute for 9 99 I like those and then I picked up this everything I bought was on sale by the way um, so it's a green tea latte, coconut flavoured, and it is insanely, amazingly good. Like, I was so surprised. I thought, it's a match of everything that I like, like matcha, green tea, latte and coconut, but would it be nice together? And I'm so glad I purchased it. It is so good. I love it. Oh my goodness, I need to get another one. It's just so good. If you watch my vlogs, then you know that I've got like a cream colour cake tin at home. So I bought the matching biscuit tin to go with it. It's really biscuits in there. Well, crackers. But um, no, I just thought it looked really cute in our kitchen because our kitchen is grey with this colour accents and stuff. So yeah, got that for like £7. And then because it's the summer we needed to get like a food bag for Asia because she doesn't actually have one and I picked up this one for like four or five pounds in from Tico Max and it's polar gear and it's got little flamingos on it which I thought was so cute it wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be but it would do for Asia I picked up this hoodie so it's an extra large hoodie from Puma, Puma, um, and it retails at £59, but I got it on sale for £24. And it's meant to be like a cropped hoodie with like really cool like neck bit, which I really like to wear with like the turban. Um, but it's extra large, so I'm hoping it just sits on my hips kind of thing. Um, so I bought that, and I really like that. It's got like that kind of like detailing down the side of the arm. Can you even see it? And I don't think it says Puma anywhere, which I really, I kind of like. I prefer not to see brand names anywhere. Oh, 
take it back. It's got it at the bottom there, but it's quite discreet. Not sure if you can see that. Anyway, so I've got that for like $24.99. And to go with it, I picked up some trainers. And these are, I bought these for $29.99 and they retail at £52. So I saved quite a bit. And they are like this. Aren't they just so nice. Oh, look at that. That is so nice. Oh, I love them. Oh, I really like them. Do you reckon they match the same kind of pink? Hopefully, because that's like the intention of the purchase. Oh, that is a very good match. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but in real life, it's a very good match. I love them. Oh my god, I love these. So, if you... Okay, I don't think anybody's on my private Instagram apart from friends. Um, I I did Insta story in the private one basically saying that Ali got me the wrong, not the wrong, but for Mother's Day he bought me pink trainers because I was asking for pink trainers but he bought me like a luminous pink trainers and I didn't want to sound ungrateful but I, they just weren't very me so I have picked these up instead and he can return the other ones. I thought they would look nice with jeans and like that hoodie or whatever and just like casual shoes to wear because I wear my Nike ones which have been worn to death so I just wanted to wear some nice pink ones now. And this is also from TJ Maxx so it's a Melissa and Doug pizza set, wooden pizza thing, um, it's going to be one of the kids Eid presents and these retail for £16.99 and Melissa and Doug were selling it for 12 night time, but then it went on sale for £6, so I picked it up for £6. I've always seen it on the website for £12.99, even in store, but it's not really much of a discount from the original price. But then I saw it for £6, I thought, oh yeah, I'll finally get it. So yeah, they can play with that in their kitchen, because their IKEA kitchen's got like an oven, so that will look very cute in there. So that is everything from Tika Max. I'm just going to show you a few bits and pieces I've got from H&M. Literally, it's just one blouse for me, and the rest is for Asia. I'll show you my blouse first. Okay, so the colour on the website looked a lot more pinkier. This is a lot more peachy, but I don't know if it, you're picking it up, but it was just, it was on sale for like £8. Um, it's quite thin, actually, isn't it? I just stocked up in a few bits and pieces, just picked up some leggings for her, but I just felt like she needed some new ones. And I bought her this top, which I thought was very, very, very cute and very summery. Just like that. So navy, is it black? I would say it's navy blue and white stripes with butterfly print on it, which I thought was very, very cute. And then I bought her a black skirt like a little jersey skirt but I thought that would be just nice a basic skirt for her to have and then I bought her this and the only reason I bought it is because it had an A on it for Asia um, and it's just like a summer little dress and I thought it was very like American cheerleader style and I picked up two things from Pretty Little Thing on, in the sale so I got this which is on its own, it's not very modest because it's not. But I was thinking to wear it with like a black high neck polo top. And it's this vest that you tie in the middle. So in theory, it's meant to be like, it's a square neck vest top. And then it's got a bow that you'd have in the middle or side or whatever. And I just thought it looked quite nice. And it kind of flows, these bits flow out. It's like a kind of peplum cut. But um, I thought it looked quite nice with a like black long sleeve top underneath. And like maybe black wide leg trousers or a midi skirt or something. 
That was my theory, and that was on sale for £5. Okay, so basically, I have not worn wide leg trousers since about high school, because it was part of my uniform. Because back then it was like the flares and bootleg cuts and all that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd try, try some wide leg trousers and see how I get on with these with like heels. I mean, I probably won't suit me, I'll probably look even bigger. But I thought I'd give these a go. Um, and these are on sale for like £12 from Pretty Little Thing. I'm going to try on some of these things so that you can see my vision so I don't look completely insane. This is the blouse from H&M. I've just worn like a long sleeve nude colour top underneath and I really like it I just I probably wouldn't wear it with this scarf but I really love this scarf I might have to go buy the other colours to see if it matches this one more but yeah I really like it so I'm going to keep them and this scarf is from Hula Lion by the way so yeah I like that so this is the extra large hoodie from Puma I really like it. It's just oversized baggy, which I absolutely love. I love that there's pockets. And I'm squinting because I haven't got my glasses on and I can't see. But yeah, um, I mean, I probably wouldn't wear it. I might actually keep this hijab with it because I kind of like the colour, like it goes well with it. But um, yeah, and this is what I was saying about the neck. Like, I really love the neck, it's just so big. So yeah, I'm going to keep this as well, really like it, and it's so soft. Okay, don't laugh, but this was a theory behind it. I mean, it kind of looks okay, I think. Like, maybe I feel uncomfortable because it's not something I usually wear, but I thought I'd try something out of my comfort zone. So I don't know. I mean, it's only five pounds, so it wouldn't harm to have it in my wardrobe, I guess. But yeah, I, I like how it flares out, and I like the bow. But I don't know. Does the bow look nicer there, or more in the middle? And the bow they did looked super nice. Clearly I need to work on my bow making skills, but yeah, that is the peplum thing I was trying to go for, but yeah, um, I don't know. What do you think? Should I do more try on outfits? Should I do like a spring lookbook? I don't know, because obviously I am at that stage now where I'm not very confident in what I wear because of my post body post body my postpartum body um and haven't gone back to how I was pre Camille and stuff so I'm I'm at like a rut where I don't know like what suits me so I am experimenting at the moment but yeah or I just sit in sweats which isn't great <laughs> okay so that is it for my haul I hope you enjoyed it and I hope my outfits made sense um I'll see you guys in my next video and until then, bye guys!